Hey guys, this is Heather at Pioneer Bee Company. Uh, today I'm just going to be doing regular old hive inspections. It's been about a month since I've been able to do this because of all the rain that we've had recently. So a lot of my hives are just busting at the seams, like bees all over the front of the box. I don't really know what I'll find, but I thought I'd bring you along because I'll probably find something that is a little educational. Cross comb. Okay, now we're going to try to pull out these frames and uh, make sure they have a lay-in queen. I think, uh, I think something good's going on in here. I discovered something as I was just looking for an extra lid and some extra frames. We keep empty bee boxes on our stands and uh, the purpose of that is really to um, catch a swarm. if. Uh, if a hive swarms, then you know there's some boxes already set up with frames that have a wax strip or some drawn out wax. But also we like to do it just to make our, just to keep our apiary looking um, full, even though it's not completely full. But I was looking for some extra frames and I discovered that one of these boxes that were supposed to be empty has a colony in it. So let me show you. Yeah, so this one right here on the end that was empty. It was all turned sideways from a storm that we had and probably the goats rubbing against it because they tend to do that. But I opened it up and lo and behold, there's a colony in there. So I'm going to have to go through it and make sure it's clean right and mark it. So 
so bonus. I think we probably caught a swarm. I think that's probably where those bees came from. Unless my husband may have stuck something in there, maybe a frame, maybe he was doing a split. I don't know, I'll have to get with him, but I'm gonna say we caught a swarm because that sounds a whole lot better. You see, they've even started building more comb along the bottom here. And they've got a really good brood pattern, so there's a really good laying queen in here. So, I'm going to let this hive expand. So, I'm going to go grab another box so that I can double stack it. And I'm going to checkerboard the frames. I'm going to pull two frames from the bottom, put them in the top, and put two new frames down here. And I've got some with some comb already drawn out from um, from an empty box. So that'll give them a little bit of a head start. Let me just grab one more frame. Oh, this is a heavy frame. Look at that. Look how much. They have already started drawing out. Well, this frame is really heavy. So you can kind of prop it up like this. Whatever you do, just don't drop it. Whoop, that just went right back down into their hive. That's okay. I'm just going to go blank frame, old frame, blank frame, old frame, blank frame. Just want to get a close-up. I hope that's not blurry. Just look how beautiful this frame is. It's got a really good brood pattern. You can't really tell from all the bees, but this is just a gorgeous frame. Just gorgeous.
just scoot this over and let this frame slide in. Go on down. So did you put or make a slit in the last box on the end there? No, I didn't. The only thing I had in there was some frames. So we caught a swarm. Yay. So I guess the moral of today's video is to stay on top of your hive inspections. Give your bees more space. If they run out of room, they'll cross comb, which makes a huge mess. And you don't want all their efforts to go to waste. Also, if they run out of room, if their family gets too big, they're going to go looking for a bigger house and make sure you have some empty boxes set up so you can catch a swarm if it happens. Now I've got to get back to inspecting the rest of my hives. We've got a thunderstorm on the way and I got to get back to work. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Happy beekeeping.